I am a girl. 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 So I'm Claire. I'm from Huntington Beach, and I'm 24. I'm Hania. I'm 26, and I'm from Inglewood. I'm Sang. Um, I'm 23, and I'm from Long Beach, California. I'm Mia. I'm 19, and I'm from Pasadena, California. I'm Celeste. I'm 19, and I'm from Culver City, California. I'm Casey. I'm 18, and I'm from Los Angeles, California. My name is Natalie, but you can call me Nat. I am from Washington. I recently moved here for work, Ooh, but wow. yeah. For the most part, my technique coming in with it is like a more masculine take on it, because if I was too girly, then it would be too obvious. What's everyone wearing? I'm in some sambas, black jeans, and like a light greenish top okay. from okay. Zara. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay. I'm wearing Levi's, um, a like bodysuit, and then dunks, and a little cardigan too. I'm wearing like a purple skirt, and, like a white off the shoulder top kind of. Let's go like, what's everyone's shoe size? Ooh, <laughs> I'm a size 10. 10? Yeah, 10 in women. How tall are you? 5'10". Oh, Ooh, okay. yeah, so that makes sense. I'm a short girly, I'm 4'11 without these heels on. <gasps> Whoa. Uh, on a good day, I'm 5'4", though. I am wearing size 7.5. I think it's pretty mm. average yeah. for girls, I guess. Mm. I'm, I'm like 5'3". I'm a size like 5. I'm 6 foot, and I have a shoe size of 9, so. I like how we all just started sharing our height. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask you guys something? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's like your biggest insecurity? Ooh, Ooh, good question. Hard hitting. I was suspicious of Hania at first, just because she seemed to be asking a lot of the questions and having a lot of large role in the discussion. I got a big old forehead. <laughs> I'm coming for everyone with a regular forehead because <laughs> y'all sound like y'all got regular foreheads. Like I'm getting regular forehead energy here. <laughs> Laughing was a big thing for me. They were laughing a ton and I was trying to, I was trying to like, <laughs> it just didn't work out. <laughs> so yeah, I was trying my best. <laughs> I think the biggest thing for me is acne. I have it on my face and my back and it's pretty bad, especially when I want to go to the beach. So it can be pretty annoying. Mm -hmm. I have a, I have another question. What's your like usual go-to style? For me, not, I think I would say like an urban, like comfy style. I'm not super fancy as a person, so um, yeah, I'd say urban comfy. Whatever is currently in style, I try to stick to that. Yeah, for that's the most how part. I feel too. I mean, I try to keep mine just like timeless, wearing timeless like pieces that yeah. like mm -hmm. keeping it timeless. Very practical. <laughs> I'm wearing a tank top right now, so <laughs> it works out. What did you guys want to be when like you were a little girl? I really wanted to be a veterinarian. Same. I actually. really loved animals. I still love animals. I was a horse girl. I can relate to that. I'm actually, I have horses back in Washington, <gasps> so. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. One I of them's name that. is Scooby Doo. It's <gasps> Scooby Doo! Yeah. I love He's that. adorable. <laughs> I assembled like a speech for certain questions, but there were certain questions that were just completely off what they were like off the page. Like the horses thing. I just jumped in as soon as I could. I'm like, yeah, I have horses. I don't have horses. <laughs> for me, I've always wanted to be like a singer, songwriter. So that's what I'm trying to do. Okay. Can you sing? So I'm assuming you can sing. Yeah, I do. I write my own songs and I like release them. Okay, so we're we're gonna be like your first fan. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The show is after. Yeah, support. for sure. That'd be awesome. Casey's voice is kind of high, so it it did make me a little suspect. I'm like, she kind of sounds like a princess from a Disney movie, and that doesn't just happen. I wanted to be an obstetrician gynecologist. Oh. Okay. And, and then I got to UCLA and took chemistry. Uh, and I was like, oh, we gonna switch that around to something else. Were you pre <laughs> Yeah, I was like biochem. I was like, oh, absolutely not. I'm a stand-up comedian now, though. I don't know. That's oh. completely different than where we started. It was almost like when you know somebody's lying because they explain too much. That's what it was like. Okay, she she planned this script out pretty well, so. Okay. So did you guys go to school, like college or anything? Yeah. Yes, I went to UCI, or Oh. oh. Yeah. I graduated from like a small little school in Boston. Um, it's called LaSalle, but it's not really well known. But yeah, so I was over there for four years and then this is like my first full year being back. Nice. Yeah. Time, oh. <gasps> hey, do you think I'm gonna win this episode? Be sure. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> hey, do you think I'm gonna win this episode? Be sure to like and subscribe and let's get back to the video. Oh.
Oh, oh, uh, we don't trust each other. Oh, <laughs> ready? This is... We will just move on to round two with all of you. I have the first question. Okay. Right, go ahead. What was you guys' first period like? I was just gonna ask that. Oh, okay. Perfect. Yeah, we gotta get down to the nitty gritty so, now. For me, I knew what was going on because I read like the American Girl doll books and oh everything. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. For me, I w it was over the summer before ninth grade, and I was getting ready to go to track practice, and then just happened. I was like, oh well, I guess I'm a woman now. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I was kind of behind everybody else, so I knew it was mm. gonna come soon. So mm -hmm. I was kind of ready for it. I was in the sixth grade bathroom, and I was freaking out. And my friends are outside. So when I got home, I told my mom, and she just like shoved me a pad and said, Hey, try that, like put this on, <laughs> and then here. She never, I don't know, it's like maybe it's an Asian thing. She just never talks to me about it. I think I was in seventh grade, I'm pretty sure. I was at home and I like went to the bathroom and I saw that there was blood, and I didn't know what to do. I didn't want to call my mom for some reason, so I called my cousin. I was like, I don't know what's going on, <laughs> like help me. And, and you never so, had the talk or anything either? I did, which oh. was like the funny part. Oh, okay. Like, I don't know, I, and then I eventually told my mom like after mm -hmm. her, but yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, my cousin was the first one that knew, so. I was in seventh grade math class and it was super awkward. I was basically sitting at my desk. I felt a really weird like sensation below my stomach and I was really confused because they were talking about interesting stuff in health class before that point. But eventually I just ran to the bathroom because I just didn't feel good. Okay, there's no way one of you isn't a girl. That's crazy. I, know. <laughs> I had no idea about anything involving periods or anything like that, so I just went with it. <laughs> Name something really specific that only a girl would get. Like specific. Don't just say pad. Um, I have really insane cramps, so I have Midol on me at all times. Okay, that's specific. Midol. Um, mm -hmm. At all times, I have to have it. How do you know your period? Like, how do you know when your period's coming? I have really, really bad lower back pains, oh, yeah. and I'm like in pain for like two days before, mm -hmm. and I always get the same pimple around my lip area. Oh, same. Like I get right on my cheek. My period. Is anyone irregular? Well, I started birth control, and like oh, yeah. it's really screwed me up. Like I started mm -hmm. the next plan on, so that's something another girl might specific. Everyone else. Yes, specific. Yes. Has anybody had any like scary experiences that they associate with being a woman? Oh like, yeah. Oh, oh, so. oh yeah. Man. Hundred yeah. percent. It's really disgusting, kind of what happens when you're just existing as a woman. One time at a college party, a guy talked to me for like two seconds, and then the next day I found out that he was telling everyone that I slept with him. What? Oh. Um, yeah. You say yes as a woman, you're a whore. You say no as a woman, you're a prude. Mm -hmm. If you're somewhere in between, people still find a way to hate you. Yeah. So, yeah. so preach true. to them. Yeah. So true. I would say like the hyper vigilance required to like go places by uh, yourself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. And the little exactly. things we do that I don't know if everyone knows we do. Like, oh, let me just pretend that I'm playing music in my ears right. and ain't no music yeah. playing. Let me just, yeah. the let me just look down on my phone. Ain't nobody oh, yeah. even telling me. Yeah. The screen be black. It becomes normal, but it really shouldn't have to be a normal to always yeah. have to feel like mm -hmm. you have to protect yourself like a right. force field. Yeah. Do you guys know anyone or like if you want to share like that has experienced sexual assault? Um, I'll, I'll volunteer myself. I've came so far to be able to volunteer myself publicly, and I'm proud of myself. I've experienced sexual assault, and I think it does have a very, like, it hawks your, your growth as far as what you feel you should be mentally as a woman. But there's a lot of emotional and spiritual things that you have to do in order to fully evolve to, to even volunteer yourself as Tribune to say yeah. that, um, acknowledge that. The word survivor also is kind of like iffy for me because mm -hmm. I feel like, oh, like, oh, I survived that. Like, you yeah. know, like, it's almost like I'm pitying myself. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I don't even know what to call it. Like yeah. survivor yeah. and like, I don't even know. Like, it's just weird. It's just hard. Yeah. It's any, any word that feels comfortable to you. I made it past one round. That's what I came in here to do today. I'm actually happy that I was the first one voted out, so yeah. Okay, to go a little bit deeper, because I need to figure out who the wall yeah. is. Yeah, go deep. Let's, How let's do you guys deep. feel about abortion? Oh, um, you get deep. <laughs> for me, I'm pro-choice. I believe everyone has the decision to do whatever they want with their body. And within pro-choice also exists pro-life if you believe that you are pro-life for yourself. I feel like I would probably be pro-life for myself just because I... I don't know, it's scary to go through just a medical procedure. If you don't want to do it, you don't want to do it. If you do want to get an abortion, like you do, like it's fine. Like that's yeah. the whole point of pro-choice, I feel like. And the exactly. government shouldn't be the ones deciding, so. Right. Exactly. Yeah. 
Who's like a like a good like role model that you have, like a woman role model That's in your really life? That's mm. Um, I don't want to be cliche, but I'm gonna have to say my mother. Say Get it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, y'all thinking that too? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like she blows my mind. It's, it's, it truly flabbergasts me, the things that moms do and they make it seem like it's slight work. My go-to person is my dad. Like he is everything to me and he has taught me what it is to be an upstanding person in society and to respect everyone, so I just, yeah. Uh. If you wanna keep playing because you think the mole is in the box, raise your hand. One, two, three. Okay, I'm suspicious of somebody. Okay, go and for I it. I have a reason. Um, Hania? What's up? So you were quiet during the abortion topic. Mm -hmm. And I just like, and like, you've been kind of really talkative recently. So like, that kind of like red flagged me a little bit. Oh, let me fix that up for you. So. <laughs> um, I also did, I mentioned that I am a survivor of assault. So abortion usually gets me really choked up. I feel like it's my body and it's my choice. So the whole conversation when I, when I debate about it, it, it does give me a little triggered. So I usually refrain from heavily like impactful, like my opinion of what I have to say about it. That's understandable. But I'm, I ain't mad at you though, girl. Sure. <laughs> okay, green yeah. flag. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, wait, Casey, were you the um, songwriter? Yes. Okay. Can I ask you something, Casey? Yes. What is the, the metal U-shaped thing in your bra? Do you know what that's called? I don't know what that's called. I do not. The underwire? Yeah, the underwire. Oh, the bra. underwire. I thought you meant something else, because that's like on both cups. What's something that like you wish you didn't experience as a woman, or like? I'm gonna go boob sweat. Ooh. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so real. Yep. So yeah, real. That's a good idea. Mustache that's sweat. <laughs> asked the question about underwire on the bra, I didn't know the answer, so I was like, okay, they're gonna vote me out. I knew it. <laughs> I'm gonna count to three, and if you wanna keep playing because you think the mole is still in the box, you will raise your hand. One, two, three. Hey, you know playing along and finding the mole is fun and all, but wanna know what's even more fun? Finding pleasure within yourself. Are, Are you, you wondering, wondering what, what that means? means? Well, well, come, come a, a little, little closer, closer and, and we'll, we'll tell, tell you. you. It's self love. And what's so great is that everyone can experience it. Explore what this looks like for you and all the wonders of self love with Lilo. So what are you waiting for? Get started on your journey now by using code GIRLS30 for 30% off your first Lilo purchase. Because nothing says self love like treating yourself as your own lover. Thank you to Lilo for sponsoring this portion of the video. Now, now let's, let's get, get back, back to the video. video. I <laughs> The mole is still in the box and they win the cash prize for themselves. If the box turns green, you four have correctly voted out the mole and we'll share the cash prize. One, two, three. The box turns green. <laughs> Honestly, it's, it's a weird experience, what? but uh, no. it starts up here, it's cool. It goes 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Whoa! <laughs> my Wait, I, oh my god. Nat looks like he was in like high school musical or something, like Camp Rock. So when I opened my eyes and saw Zac Efron, I was like, okay, you got me. Like, I really feel like I've been bamboozled. I do a YouTube channel, and so oh. I used to do like Omegle content, and then I went to like, oh. some gaming stuff, and so yeah, that's oh what I do for a living. That's crazy. Whoa! No. No. I am flabbergasted. <laughs> wait, no, did wait. you ask a period question? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, that's exactly wow. what we're teaching. Oh, yeah. ah. Whoa. Uh, being 6'4", I felt like I was already out of my element, so I had to like go in there and try to be somebody that I'm not. I was scared coming into this because I didn't want to fall into stereotypes because I know I don't want people to stereotype me. I don't want, like, no one wants that. No one wants to be assumed. I was thinking about just busting out different voices, like, oh my god, you have no idea. No! <laughs> so. Oh, you got accents yeah. too? Oh no, I got you. Because, like, I'll do an Australian, but I also do, like, a, it's, it's quite weird. <laughs> you should be a voice actor. I, I was thinking about it, yeah. <laughs>